all right you guys so i'm back at it again with the back at it again today instead of having a tutorial on how i already created something i am going to start a new project and based off of an image that i just seen that i thought was pretty cool it's a bedroom so let me pull that up yeah y'all i'm gonna try to create this uh this may be a multiple part process multiple part video so i think what i'm gonna do today is tackle the room i want to try i want to try to dress over here towards the right if you can't see my cursor i want to try to make that dresser but let's get started yeah we're gonna pull up revit go to new and architectural template press ok I'm kinda excited cause usually I just make up random stuff I never really well for my spa I kinda looked at examples of spas but I, I kinda just went off on my own and did whatever I wanted to do go to view and then pull up my properties um, bar and my project manager a project browser and I'm going to go ahead check out that picture again so to me I'm going to have to kind of estimate the um, square footage of the room so looking at it because I'm not that great that bed looks to be about six to seven feet long and so I'm guessing the back wall um, that's facing us is about 10 feet, 10 to 12 feet. And then we're going to assume that the side wall is also 10 to 12 feet. So just make a square bedroom, 10 to 12 feet. Let's go with 11. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that back down. Zoom in a little bit because this, the, these, um, what do you call it? These indicators are kind of like a hundred, hundreds of feet apart. So we're definitely going to zoom in a little bit because we're only doing about 11 feet. Put down some walls. I told you I was going to show you how to make a room. So we're going to select the um, rectangle tool. And go ahead and make a room that is 11 by 11 feet. Yeah. Yep, 11 by 11 feet. Go ahead and click that. And press your ESC button two times. And now we're here. So, what we're going to do is zoom into this room. Uh, let me pull up the 3D view. So the walls are like extra tall. I'm going to go back and estimate how tall I think the room is. The room to me is probably about... Because the TV... The top of the TV seems to stand at 5 feet. 5 and a half feet. Um, well, 5 and a half. I mean, 5 feet by 5 inches. Um... So I'm guessing the ceiling height is 8 to 10 feet. I'm going to choose 9 because I keep <laughs> just skipping a number. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go on the south of you so that we can change the level. And so level 1 is the ground plane and... We're going to go ahead and move level 2, which is going to stand as my ceiling, to 8 feet. And after that, let's go to the floor plan. Select all four walls, property, and make the top constraint go to level 2 apply and step it so now it's going to be stopping at eight feet 
cool. So, in order to best manipulate um, the inside of the room, I'm going to remove a wall. It's just easier that way. It's easier to actually see inside instead of coming from an upper angle trying to see inside. And it's definitely hard trying to create your own furniture when you're looking inside of a box instead of, you know, through the side of the box. Delete that wall. 3D view. All right. And I'm going to orbit around. Also, even though we have the levels at base level, so essentially it's on the ground plane, we don't have a floor right now, which I noticed at 3D level. So I'm going to go back to the floor plan of level one and insert. Right, I didn't do that the first time. <laughs> okay, so now we have our floor in our 11 by 11 volume. And go ahead, open up that picture. Yeah, I'm gonna start on the dresser that's to the right. So, go on, ribbon. Pan so I get to see more of this wall right here. And I'm gonna start building this object. So what I'm gonna go to first is component. Then over to model in place. And it is a piece of furniture. So select furniture. And it is going to be a dresser. Okay. So I'm going to create and create an exclusion. <laughs> Turn this on mute. And then set a plane because as I said before you don't want your objects to be floating in space or in the last video I said you don't want your objects to be just floating in space so um, definitely pick a plane that you want your objects to eject from or at least sit on ooh, ooh stomach okay so <laughs> I'm gonna select the top flat plane of the floor and then make that rectangle here. So yeah, I want to look down on the um, object or look down on the um, room and go ahead and do one foot. That's one foot by three feet. One feet, one foot by four feet. Let me look again at the one feet by four feet oh shoot yeah so do one feet by four feet <sighs> all right so let's go ahead back to the 3d view and bring this up about three feet The depth is one foot. Depth would be three feet. Hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe that's actually too tall. I'm gonna go ahead and put you down to four feet. I mean, to two feet, huh? Okay. I'm pleased with that. So. Uh, let's go ahead and look at these drawers. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's the last video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at these drawers. So it seems that you have three long rectangle drawers in the center and shorter rectangle drawers along the sides. So 
what I'm gonna do because essentially it's about the aesthetics it does not have to be completely realistic if I wanted it to be completely realistic what I would do is actually create voids into where each drawer would fit, fit in then I would make an excursion, a solid shape, and um, create a void into that solid shape and make that drawer part. Like if you remove the drawer from the dresser, make that um, hollow shape and then insert that into the void of the dresser so that when it's open you can see that there's a space for clothes to fit into. But we don't got to do all of that right now. <laughs> We're trying to make a whole room. So what I am going to do is go ahead and exit out of there. Oh. I lied. I'm going to go back in there. <laughs> and I am going to create an excursion. Also set the plane again. And that's going to be on the face of this dresser. Select the rectangle tool. I am going to make the smaller parts of the dresser first. Let me see. Select all of that, move it down just a little bit. And copy. So then now we have these smaller rectangular shapes um, inserted. We are going to create the longer rectangles in the center. that select the check mark and as you see they are extruded out of the dresser orbit around select this arrow and push them back into the dresser and this arrow pull the rest in as close as mm, well not that much in. I still want you to be able to see that they are drawers. Push them a little closer in. Alright. Select. Then pull them a little bit more to the back. Like how a dresser would be, all the way to the back. Alright, so there's the basic form of that dresser. But, you know what? I just remembered something. The dresser is standing up off of the floor and has that big gap under it. So we're actually going to have to make this dresser taller and move everything upwards. This video is probably going to be longer than I thought. Or I'm just going to get 
the dressers done. Alright. I like it. It's pretty cool. Okay. So now I'm going to orbit so that the bottom is facing me a little bit more. And start to create this shape that's on the dresser or that little bottom part um, so I'm going to create a void in this extrusion on this solid volume and go ahead create then void void extrusion set the plane go ahead and wait pick a plane yeah and I'm going to choose this front face and zoom in. I'm going to use the line tool and the arc tool, which is right here, to create that um, curved shape. So I kind of just was staring at that shape for a minute. So I think I know how the curves go a little bit. And let's start trying to figure it out. The I'm going to start in the middle. Alright, so we have that shape created now. Um, it's cutting through the dresser, so we want to pull that all the way through so it looks like a void. And it does. I'm just going to bring it out so that I have better control of it in the future and it's not like inside of the dresser. It doesn't confuse me as being a part of the dresser. Select that, then go back to the 3D view. And now we have that cut at the bottom of the dresser, similar to the one they have here. It's not exactly the same, but it's um, a lot like it. Um, you can probably fool a lot of people. <laughs> or they'll at least know your intentions was to create a dress slur such as that one. And then let's do the sides. And so we're going to create another void on the side plane or side face of the dresser so go ahead and orbit around And now we have the legs of this dresser. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty similar to the one on the image. Except for we can also create the extrusions, extrusions on the top, the sides 
um, where it has like those rounded areas so that's what I'm going to do now and I'm going to speed through this as well I am going to go to materials and press create new material. I am naming it white wood. Go to the appearance and select the image. The image is on my desktop named white wood. So I'm going to save that click on the image see how it looks that's cool yeah hmm. all right do i want there to be bumps remember in the last video i told you guys that i can change a lot of the characteristics on the material so yeah, I'm just going to add some bumps. Ah, I hope I'm not speaking too low. I'm sorry. <laughs> My apologies. And go ahead and select. Okay. Oh, oh, crrr. Ah! ah. Okay. So 
go back to the dresser edit in place and I'm going to select everything that I want it to be um, in white so press control and then add the dressers add all of ooh, all of the rods on the table and go to properties and you see it's furniture yeah I'm editing material We're good with the visuals we have now. It can always go to 100%, but this is what it looks like. Um, this is this took me about 40 minutes to make, maybe 50. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and the next one will be coming soon. And yeah. Have a good day.